Hey, welcome back. It is now News Now, reaching you live from the studios of Ibrand TV, Lagos, Nigeria. My name is Uchechuku Onodo. A Muslim faithfuls in Nigeria on Wednesday joined hundreds of millions more across the globe in celebration of the Eid al-Kabir. The annual festival, also referred to as Eid al-Dha, or the Festival of Sacrifice, marks the end of the Hajj pilgrimage to Mecca by countless devotees from around the world. It is usually celebrated with prayers offered on the Eid ground, followed by slaughter of goats, rams, and cattle in commemoration of the Prophet's readiness to sacrifice his son to show obedience to Allah. And as the Muslim, uh, as the Muslim faithful celebrates the Eid al-Kabir on Wednesday, President Bola Tinubu has appealed for tolerance and patience, noting that these were the essence of the season as demonstrated by Prophet Ibrahim. The president, after the two rakat prayers in Lagos, state, uh, in Lagos State, called on Nigerians to believe in the country. Aipoje Ikoria has more on these reports. <laughs> President Bola Tinubu, accompanied by his chief of staff, Femi Bajabia Miller, former Minister of Works, Babajide Fashola, National Security Advisor Nuru Badu, and Lagos State Deputy Governor Obafemi Amzad, amongst others, observed the Turakat prayers after several prayers for the country and president by the chief imam, Lagos State. The president, while calling on Nigerians to continue to believe in the progress of the country, said is aware of the economic and security challenges weighing heavily on Nigerians at this time and reaffirmed that his administration was working to ease citizens' burden and forge a better future. May our sacrifices turn to prosperity. We have to make the sacrifices and that is clear if we have to but Allah will not give you a burden that you cannot carry it will not is there for you have faith in the country have faith in yourself believing that you you as a citizen of this country you must, you must join hands. No religious identity, no tribal identity. Live with one another in joy and prosperity. President Tinubu is returning to Lagos for the first time since his assumption in office as president. I Boji Horia reporting for Ibrand TV. And former President Muhammad Buhari has said leading Nigeria is one of the hardest challenges in life. Uh, he further said leadership entails the cooperation and support of all citizens. In a Salah message signed by his spokesperson Garba Shehu on Tuesday, the former president, however, urged Nigerians to give their support to the new administration of President Bola Tinubu. In the uh, statement titled, Ex-President Buhari salutes Muslims on Eid al-Adha and wishes Muslims successful Hajj, the former president uh, wished Nigerian Muslims a happy Eid and to those on pilgrimage, Hajj, Mabur, and a safe return home. Bari added that leadership is a challenging task that demands the sacrifices and support of the citizens. And the Christian Association of Nigeria has felicitated with Muslims on the occasion of the Eid celebration, urging their Muslim brothers and sisters to use the occasion to pray for the peace and prosperity of the country. The association, in its statement on Tuesday by its president, Archbishop Daniel Oko, also called on all Nigerians to pray for its leaders and for God's guidance and wisdom as they steer the affairs of the nation. The statement expressed optimism that Nigeria can achieve its full potential 
if students, uh, if citizens put aside their differences and work together to build a stronger, more united and more prosperous nation. Senator, uh, Senate President Goswell Akbabu has also joined a host of other prominent Nigerians to preach tolerance as the Muslim faithfuls across the globe celebrate Eid today. Akbabu congratulated President Tinubu as he celebrates the first Eid as president and pleaded with Nigerians to be patient with the president during these hard times. Similarly, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Tajuddin Abbas, and his deputy, Benjamin Kalu, both congratulated Muslims, urging Nigerians to pray for the unity, peace, and progress of the country. The Speaker said it is also a time to pray for the success of the nation's leaders as they move to tackle the challenges facing the country, counting on the prayers and support of the people. And Governor uh, Babachide Samolu of Lagos State has urged Muslims to imbibe the lessons of sacrifice from Prophet Ibrahim. He also called on the Muslim faithful to work together with people of other faiths for the peace, unity, and progress of Nigeria. In a Salah message issued on Tuesday by his media advisor, Boega Akoshile, the governor congratulated the Muslims in Lagos and encouraged them to continue on the path of spiritual and peaceful coexistence. Samuelu advised the Muslim faithful to learn from the examples set by the Prophet and to avoid actions that could undermine the unity and stability of Nigeria. And as Muslims all over the globe today mark the Eid al-Kabir celebration, the Muslim Ummah in Lagos State have been advised to hold on to the doctrine of Islam and show love to all those around them. The chief imam of Lagos State, Alaji Suleiman Ulua Toin Abuola, gave the advice during the Eid prayers at the prayer ground on, in Obalinde area of the state. Iboje Korea brings out more on this report. The chief imam of Lagos State, Alahaji Suleiman Abunola, in the Salah message advised Nigerians to be tolerant to one another. As we celebrate this Indian Kabir, let us, let us forget our political differences and show all out of violence to ensure peaceful coexistence and progress of our nation, Nigeria. As the purpose of our Lord Wali Wasala, was reported to our state, who will work in the evening. The love of your country is part of it. Deputy Governor of the state, Obafemi Amzat, called on Nigerians to be patriotic. He also prayed for peace in the country. On the spot, Chief of Staff to the President, Femi Bajabi Amila, while appreciating Nigerians for coming out to welcome the president back home since his assumption in office said it is more taxing to be a leader in Nigeria than other countries of the world. It was only a testament of the hope that as well you promised Nigerians. That hope is being manifested, has been manifested in 30 days. A hope that we thought would manifest in four years began to manifest within one week. Continue this manifestation within two weeks. Continue that manifestation within three weeks and up to now. Inshallah, the manifestation will continue from now for the next four years. So we must sacrifice for our nation. We know people have said it's not just the citizens, the leaders, because our leaders are also satisfied. So we must pray for them. As our Imam has said, praying and loving our country is part of our faith. While speaking on readiness of security agents to ensure a hitch-free celebration, the Lagos State Commandant, NSCDC, said the state is safe for all. Uh, so far, so good. You see, we have effectively mobilized alongside other security agencies to cover virtually every area in Lagos State, especially now that we have the President and Commander-in-Chief of Nigerian Armed Forces amongst us, celebrating the Salah with us, alongside other very important dignitaries. It has now become imperative for us to now emplace a watertight security, and which we have done, you can see. We have deployed personnel for effective traffic control and crowd control. It is evident from the way this particular uh, 
uh, prayer session has been conducted peacefully without any rancor. Security officials comprising of men of Nigerian police, Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, and officials of the special mashas were on the ground in different prayer grounds across the state to ensure a hitch free celebration and free flow of traffic. I, Boji Horia, reporting for Ibrahim TV News.